The Secret Life of Pets 2 is a film that just came out. Um, I saw it. I regret it. Maybe this film broke me. Nah, I couldn't have it. So The Secret Life of Pets 2 is Elimination Entertainment's most recent animated film that they uh, that they released. Their last film, I think, was The Grinch. Um, and this is the sequel to the very first Secret Life of Pets movie that came out like three-ish years ago or something like that and continues telling the story and adventures of max uh max and duke and all the other pets that live in this apartment complex in new york city um and this film takes a more different approach than it did with the first one whereas the first one kind of took like a toy story approach and like um the two dogs are kind of uh set loose in new york city and, to, and like all the other pets like in the apartment complex like come together to try to find them um kevin hart's uh bunny um character snowball was the villain of that one this one it takes more of a much more divided story approach that they try to bring it all together in the end, and it doesn't quite work. Um, Max and Duke, um, like, um, their owner, like, you know, gets married, has a kid, they go away to a farm for a weekend. Um, Jenny Slate's character, um, she has to get Max's, like, uh, toy back from, like, this crazy cat lady's apartment. Um, and so to do that, she becomes, like, a cat. And then Kevin Hart's character teams up with Tiffany Haddish's. Um, they try to save um, a tiger from this evil circus guy. Um, Kevin Hart's trying to be a superhero as a bunny. Honestly, I barely cared <laughs> when I saw this. The one thing I could say about these films and pretty much most of Illumination's films is the animation for them is really really good just the the level of detail that goes into like the environments and the world and the characters and how it feels can feel both realistic but also still feel cartoonish at the same time is really impressive and i still love that about their films um and the talented cast that they're able to get for all their films works really really well but the script for this one is the most shallow piece of script that i've seen for an animated film for a while like we've had Lego Movie 2, How to Train Your Dragon 3 come out this year, and now we have this. This isn't like Boss Baby or Emoji Movie levels of bad, but man, is it probably the worst one I've seen for Illumination. I don't know. I might need to go back and watch Minions of Despicable Woman Me 3. I don't know, but I don't know if I want to go sit through those again. But even those, I at least had, like, you know, a lot of comedy throughout it. This one it was just like, I think that's the joke. And, like, the, the whole time I was like, what is the point of, like, these characters doing this? How do they grow? How do they change? How does the story, like, evolve or, like, really anything? And, like, it, like, some of them, like, you know, like, wrap up, like, really quick. Like, inf impressively quick. Like, Jenny Slate's one wraps up pretty quick. It's funny. It was my favorite one just because of how insane it was. But, like, everyone else is just like, what are you building towards? Like, I don't get it. What are you building towards? At least in the first one, there was, like, a clear-cut path for, like, you know, the growth of it. We've seen it before, but at least there was that path. This, I don't know where the path was! It was, like, it was here, it was there, it was everywhere, I don't know! At least it shut the kids for an hour and a half! Yay! Like I said, the best things I can say about this film are the animation and the cast, and the film works really well when it goes to those insane and cartoonish levels that it should have been at the entire time the best the be the times i actually enjoyed myself and laughed the most was with jenny slade's character because uh she's a dog she's like a poodle trying to be a cat and like this cat lady's apartment literally has like hundreds of like feral cats living in there she's completely oblivious to what they're doing and it's just insane like you know how feral and insane they are and like i loved it because it took it up to that 11 that it needed to go up to and everything else around the film didn't there were like hints of it here and there but it never like you know tried to go up to those levels and i don't know why when it went up to those levels it was great but everything else i was just like just end it all <laughs> i think i'm being a bit over dramatic here but like they still need to put in some level of effort that they have. Like, since Despicable Me, I don't think they've really put in, like, the care and effort towards their story and their jokes like they like they used to. Because at least in that one, like, there was a bit of heart and, like, you know, actual character growth and, like, jokes and stuff like that consistent throughout the whole thing. It just seems like it's been going down ever since then, and they haven't really climbed back up. Well, Despicable Me too, was, like, had some good humor. And the first Secret Life of Pets had some good humor. But it's it's never consistent. It's never consistent. And this one is just like, you know, the clearest example of them 
not trying. And I feel really bad for the animators because, like, they're putting so much time and effort into making, like, this, like, look so realistic, but also still look cartoonish at the same time. And I feel so bad for them that they had to, like, you know, do that, but then had to deal with, like, this shallow and just lazy script that, they, that like, obviously didn't get past, like, two rewrites. Or maybe just one. I don't know. Now look, if you're a parent and you want to take your kids to this, I can understand that. And your kids are most likely going to enjoy this. My little brother enjoyed this. I was hoping I would enjoy this because I enjoyed the first one. But man, was I struggling through it. At least with Boss Baby, I was able to like keep myself entertained with just how insane the film was. But even this one, it didn't go to those insane levels for me to enjoy it. So it was, I was just left there wondering like, where is this going? What's this leading to? Like, oh, big climax on a train. Yay, achievement unlocked. I don't I don't know. Like the film just struggles to like be relevant as to why it's existing. And like it's very obvious they're struggling. Cause just like as I said, like so many plot lines like just like wrap up really quickly and it's like they don't come back until they need to come back at the end. It's just like that's just not good writing. <laughs> and like Max's like pat play by Patton Oswald is just like I don't know what his real growth is. It's like he, like, has attachment issues, like, with, like, you know, his, like, owner's kid, like, you know, wants to protect him. But, like, it's, I, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I get it, but it's just, like, where's gonna be the growth of this? There really isn't much growth. Like, he himself becomes braver, but, like, nothing of, like, you know, like, letting him, like, you know, ease out the protection of, like, the, I don't, ugh. It's very frustrating. I'm very, I'm frustrated. I hate when I get frustrated by a movie just because, like, I can't coherently make my thoughts. And, like, it just, like, I, 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 I don't know. And, ugh. This film is not the worst. I have seen far worse films. But I'm very mad at this film at just how lazy it is. And how, like, it doesn't, it clearly doesn't care what it's doing because they know that it's going to make money because... Pets, it's from the people that made the Minions movies, and it has, like, you know, a good comedic cast for the adults. And there's your tri there's your trifecta right there. That's that's what Illumination needs to make a successful movie, I guess, these days. And, like, to me, that's just sad. Like, they're not, tr that they're really not trying anymore. I hope that whatever their next film is, they try more than this. But recently, as their streak has been going, it doesn't seem to be going that way. And I feel like it's just going to get worse from here until they, like step away from like everything that they've been doing and try something completely brand new again but until then i feel like we're just going to keep getting films like this over and over again and just like i'm not looking towards the future of this and i feel again i feel really bad for these animators that like they ha that they get to work and like make such amazing artwork but then like you, you have this script and like everything else that's just like it's like it's like it's being wasted um like all their time and effort is just being wasted on this and i feel really bad for them i'm gonna give the secret life of pets 2 a 5 out of 10. it would have been lower but again the cast some of the humor like here and there and the animation just hold it up to higher standards but other than that i just like i don't care for it i don't think i'll watch it again and just like again i feel like illuminations on the downfall and i just hope that they somehow rise back up if you saw secret life of pets 2 or still want to see it let me know down in the comments below what you thought or what you will think i don't know what i don't know if you time travel or not make sure you like share and subscribe and all that nonsense um and i'll see you all next on the next review